This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on parental controls on the Mac Part 2. So in the first segment, we covered about half of the parental controls. Click on System Preferences, click on Parental Controls, then highlight the person that you're trying to control or monitor. We got up to mail and chat last time. So in this segment, we'll look at time limits. Now, I think this is really cool because it's built right into the Mac so that you can limit the amount of time that's spent on the computer. The top one lets you limit weekdays. So like during the school week for people who have children, you can limit it from anywhere from 30 minutes to eight hours or anywhere in between. Then you also have another section for just weekends. So you can be a little more strict during the week and give up a little time on the weekend. And then you also have special controls for bedtime, like on school nights, no computer after eight o'clock until 6 a.m. And then you can have weekend, Friday and Saturday time limits. So you can give them a little bit extra time on the weekend and take it away during the week. So I think this is really cool because it's built in. You just go in and check the times that you want and you can make adjustments as needed. Then there's logs, and the logs give you information on what's going on on websites, websites that were blocked, applications, and chat. And you can get reports based on one week, a month, three months, six months, a year. You can get them by website or date. Applications, you can get the application name or the date it was used. In chat, you can get who they were talking to and what date it was. So, the Mac has some excellent parental controls built right in, and that concludes part two.